Say that you love me, say that you need me, say that I am the only one. Say you forgive me, say you want me, say that I am the only one. No. I'm going back home tonight, tonight. I'm coming back home. Forgot the seasoning again. Give me that. No, I didn't forget it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fine, okay. Maybe I maybe I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dad, let's just order something. Why? Because I don't want my future stepmother to be dead even before you marry her. Well, you've been eating my food this whole time and you're still alive, aren't you? I think. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Chimamanda, pass me my phone. Phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you ordering? Most definitely something healthy. Not one of those things you like, like pizza or whatever. What about burger? No. Sorry, Ma. Where should I park the car, Ma? Accurate timekeeper. Are you going to help me set this table or not? So, how is she? Cool. Nice. Pretty. She's... She's everything. Everything is nothing, Dad. Who told you that? She's here! 
We're not ready. We're not ready. Why don't I go to the shelter with my awesomeness while you set up? Mm. <gasps> Hello. Welcome, ma'am, to Chimamanda's and Ebuka's Daniel's house. You must be our guest tonight. This is for you. Wow, thank you. Dad, she got me gifts. Oh, I hope you told her thank you. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I'll go keep them in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you've gotten yourself a new fan. You look beautiful, by the way. Dressed up for you. Love it. Mm-hmm. Almost done. This one. So, if she was your girlfriend before you met mom, then why didn't you marry her? Oh, we never would have had you then. Duh. <laughs> what do you think about her, by the way? She got me gifts. Okay, and uh, what does that mean? It means I like anyone who buys me gifts. So we like her. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say that you love me, say that you need me, say that I am the only one. Say you forgive me, say you wanna me, say that I am the only one. Oh. I'm going back home tonight. I'm saying is that I don't trust him. He doesn't look trustworthy to me. Mom, he's a great guy, okay? He's a great guy. Besides, he's my business partner. Moreover, he was at an office party. You know how playful he can get. That's how playful he was and you ruined our wedding pictures. Look, I know, I know that he can be a bit of a handful, okay? But he has been my business partner for three years now and he's amazing at his job. Can I watch TV? No, go to bed. Tomorrow is school. Fine. 30 minutes and then you're off to bed. That's the key. Catch. There you go. Are you upset about something? Maybe you do know that if you don't tell me what is bothering you, I won't be able to address it. Right? Why do you always do that? Anytime I say something, then you contradict it in front of her. It's about the TV thing. Baby, come on. I, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I didn't know. Look, the thing is, I'm so used to parenting her alone, doing it alone, that, you know, sometimes I forget and just... Let her have a way. I forget I'm no longer alone. I'm sorry now, eh? Yeah, go. Come now, Abba. Shakara, from here, Joe. Shakara, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry now.
Hey! What did you leave that for? Dad is waiting for me. Let him wait. He can watch for a few minutes. Go and watch it. Sometimes. What? Where, where'd you get that from? Where? I, I mean, she's not mean. You know, people react differently to situations and circumstances. What does that mean? Well, uh, sorry. Uh, mm, hold that thought. Just give me a second, please. Huh? Hello, Michael. Can you call me back? This is not a good time. I'm about to take to my mother to school. It's not a good time. Ah. What? Sorry. Say, say that. Say that again. No, I won't take this. Let your ten be ten. You are always doing this. This is too much. No, 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 you can't keep doing this. I'm not good. Good morning, Mom. Ah, what is wrong with you? Hold on. I'm carrying bags and you're strolling behind me. Sorry, Mom, I didn't know you. You didn't know what? Always the ones with zero naira in their pockets. Nonsense. So you won't open my door for me? Hello? If I don't get it by 10, don't bother. Hold it all well. Sorry. Hey, Puka. Hey, Puka. I was just trying to help. It was just a business. Stay far away from me. Do you understand me? Come on, Ebuka. Hey, if I get you. Come on. Get hey, Puka. Oh my, I've, I have messed up big time. God. Look, look here. Here is empty. And here. Then at the end of the month, you want to collect salary, Abby? I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourselves. Hmm? See, see here, dust. Dust. Why are you girls so useless? I'm sorry, eh? I don't blame you. you. Don't have anybody in your family that's built something good. That's why you want to destroy another person's own. What happened? I'm, I'm finished. Michael has destroyed us. this mean? Well, you know, sleep. I'm not very... talking about the freaking sleep. Your situation, what does it mean for us? Well, it means that until EMCC is done with the investigation, you know, clears my name and unfreezes my account, things are going to be a little, well, tight. I'm sorry. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't be in this pathetic situation. I told you Michael was a fishy guy. But you were too blind. It took the EMCC to open your eyes. 
Now it's me that will suffer for it. Yes. Get up, get up, get up. What did you leave those place for in the sink? Huh? Eh? My face, open your eye. Who did you leave those place for in the sink? Open your eyes. I said, who did you leave the place in the kitchen for? Plate. Wash tomorrow. Tomorrow? In my house? So you want me and couple just to be battling in my house? I get up. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to sleep now. No, 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 no. What? Move! It's me. I'll be pouring you water. I'm doing it. Tell my mother, are you eating or are you sleeping? I I understand, but you know you have to go to school. Yeah? So just try. See, see, see. She's she's ready. She's ready. She's still eating. Uh, I mean, you're good to go. I told you I have surprised my sister, and those girls cannot handle it. Uh, I, I understand. But you know she's a kid, so just she will soon finish. She's almost she's just about done. She I'm not the one that said EMC should take your car. Eh? Can't continue this uh, school run. Just start the king school bus. Merci. You know that that is an expense that I cannot handle right now. Eh? Take it easy. Let her meet me in the car. Eh, she's coming. She'll meet you in the car. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. You know what? Here's your bag. This is already empty anyway. Get up, get up. Yeah, get up, see. Get up. You sleep for one minute in the car. Let's go. Get down. Where are you going? I want to help out with the door. What? What are you now? Get down. You don't see my school here. It's not a school. I just passed at the beginning of the street. Get down. I have things to do today. So why are we now here? Get down. Check to your Please school. Please now. I said get down. I'm scared. Of what? Come down. Somebody there. What if they kidnap me? What do they want to kidnap me? This your body. If anybody tell you, hey, small girl, you run. What if they catch me? And then I'll see you in heaven. Ah! I can submit it by Monday. Mm. To my mind, to be honest, I don't quite remember how to make paper mache. I, so many years ago, when I was in high school or something. What about you? Hmm? Do you remember? I'm too exhausted for this conversation. We can always go online and uh, you know look it up and then follow the instructions. Yes. Mm. <coughs> Pass me a spoon. Yeah.
Un coup. That's the third beef. Due to your current joblessness and the price of meat in the market now, you can't be eating the uh, third meat on the city now. I didn't ask you to put it back. I'm just stating the obvious. It's fine. No longer hungry. you ask a question like that, love? Because you don't take me to school anymore. Your car is gone. Mm. And you don't even eat what you want. <sighs> well, I mean, listen, something happened at work, okay? It, it will be sorted out in due time. Right, but in the meantime, we may need to like, adjust a little. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, now, off to bed. Checking on you in 10 minutes. Better be asleep. Are you going to spit what's on your mind or you keep giving me the side eye? What you said to me earlier was that unacceptable. The way you spoke was utterly unacceptable. You cannot speak to me like that in the presence of my daughter. Come on. I told you you can have the meat, but you refused. Because you were bang out of line, Mercy. You're out of line and you embarrassed me over something as trivial as a piece of beef. How much do you have for bills and housekeeping? Exactly my thought. So forgive me for reminding you that we are living off one person's resources. We cannot afford to be eating like blue thumbs. Why did you dare to rest? I could have these eggs I was serious, I said, can that kind of thing happen? Like now, I'm not taking the job. For where? Come here, Peter. Take the job. Peter, madam is calling you. See what's happening now. Get this woman out of here. Auntie, you have here, my madam. Please leave. Ah, what's the meaning of this trouble? That question should be directed to the dogs that raised you. Ah, uh -uh. did you see me at first? Are you the first fat woman in Lagos that almost trampled on me like an elephant? Did you just call me an elephant? My friend, take this armor out of my shop. Please leave. Ah. Uh -uh. leave now. Ah. Uh -uh. Is this how you treat your customer? Is this how you treat your D? I'm going to make sure everybody I know does not come here to shop. If you touch me, if you touch me, I will slap you. I will make everybody I know do not come here. Is this how you treat your customer? My friend, get out. I should get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. If you touch me, I will slap you. If you touch me, I will slap you. 
You don't have any sense. Is this how you treat your customers? I will tell everybody I know not to come here. I will tell everybody, do you know what I have spent here? Do you know who I am? My friend, do you know who I am? If you talk to me, I will slap your face. If you talk to me, I will slap your face. Do you family and friends that beat here for me? Out. I will make sure I tell everybody I know that they should not come here. This place will run down. You are a very proud, stupid woman. Yes, no, no sense. You're not, I'm Weber. No sense. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you touch me, if you touch me, I'll go woozy. You. Get your few days off me. I'm Weber. Are you the first fat woman in Lagos? And you, why, why were you telling her sorry? Why were you telling her sorry? Get that thing off the floor. No sense. Ha! <laughs> 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 Hello, sir. Well, sir, I, I know it's due next week, uh, and I'm working on it. Um, that's why I'm asking for, you know, a grace period. Sir, look, I, I get it. I, I know, I know, sir. I know that I only have a week as grace period, okay? But this period has been really difficult for me. And, you know, my business was... Sir, I'm not saying that I will not pay the rent. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm asking for is just, like, a short period of grace, regardless of the contract. Yes, sir. You, yeah, you, you'll get it, sir. What's the problem? You deflate my tire. Because the side mirror that you spot last week, I've not fixed it. Eh? Madam, I quit. Are you mad? Are you insane? What's the meaning of this? Madam, you are the one who is insane. You are insane. Shouting like a mad woman. Be behaving like a witch. Madam, not believe you want to get money for this country. Are you the first to have money in this country? How much you get, sir? Tell me, how much you get? When you open your mouth, they talk rubbish. You see you? Then make your sis get no like you. Angry, bitter woman, that's what you are. That is why your sales girl does not like you. Even your security man doesn't even like you. I am very sure that your husband does not even like you. You see me, me. I hate you. I hate to die. If nobody said they raise me well. I will don't slap you today. Is it me insulting like this, Aki? Is it me insulting like this? Madam, if it's you I'm insulting, what will you do? Last, last, you know, go send me my salary. Or take her. Chop on, that's why I take pass you. Chop and make you choke you die. I can never take anything from a witch like you. Look at you, doesn't have anything. No cobble in your pocket. All this is you are wearing. Am I not the one who bought it for you? See? Am I not the one who bought so it for shed, you? Now share the pain you are be. Okay. Ah. Take out. Take out. Take out. You are throwing your my things at me. You are throwing your things at me. This trouser you are wearing. I don't want to bought it for you. Oh, this trouser. This trouser. Okay. Yes, remove it. Okay. I bought it for you. Okay. If you buy something for somebody, you cannot even. I will pull everything for you. I will pull it. Yes, pull it. I will pull it. Take, yes, yes, take, I bought it for you. Take. Say you are happy now. Yes, it's you're my money. You should buy this cement. It's the salary I'll be paying you. You should buy this cement. Yes, give it to me. Give it to me. See? Oh, fuck you. Fuck your shirt. Fuck your trust. Get out. Fuck you very well. Get out. Fuck you. This, 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 man. This, this. See? Look at him. See, rich people. Even that boxers you are wearing. I believe me. Even that boxers you are wearing. Carry go, carry go. My money is to buy that boxers you are wearing. Look at him. 
In great. In great. Ma, 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 mad boy, he great. Ah, ah. I bought this last week. It's already empty. Oh, um, it was Chimamanda. You know she really likes these things. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, by the way, I I got a text from the landlord. He said you paid the rent. Thank you very much. How long will this continue? I mean, me settling the bills. Next is school fees. Any plan on getting a job? A, a job? Mercy, I, I own a company. Oh, you do? I had no clue. Because the company I know is still by EMCC. And they will unseal it once they finish their investigation and discover that I had nothing to do with Michael's criminality. You sound deluded. Hey, Buka, wake up. This is Nigeria. No one likes a man who lays around doing nothing. That's true. Mercy. So you wake up in the morning and the first thing to do is to watch film. Today is Saturday, there's no school. <laughs> so no school means doing nothing. Have you even greeted me this morning? No, I didn't miss you. Is me your line that to greet? No, You don't have what to do, Abby. I will give you something to do. Now meet me downstairs. Are your parents aware that you're washing their car? It's my auntie Mercy that said I should wash it. <laughs> Who are you? I'm not supposed to be talking to strangers. I'm your new neighbor moving to the boys' quarter. You're still a stranger. Okay. My name is Temi Dario. Now that you know my name, what is yours? My name is Chim Amanda. You cannot call me Chim or Amanda. It has to be full. That's what my mommy used to say. Mm. Okay, good to know. No, Amanda, what are you doing? I'm washing the car. Who asked you to do that? Auntie Mercy. Get inside right now. But I haven't finished. Auntie Mercy said it has to be very clean. Chimamanda, don't let me repeat myself. Get inside right now! Hi. Hi. Wait, you, you asked Chimamanda to wash your car. What, what the hell is wrong with hey, you? Hey, hey, hey. Why is that turn on me? Yeah, baby. My sister and I were still my mother's shop at her age. You have a driver, for goodness sake. 
Besides, she's never your sister, nor is she you. I cannot be feeding for a child. I don't want to put in the work. Moreover, I fired my driver. Instead of you coming here to shout, you should have helped her. What are you doing? Try to open the door. It's strong. Mm. I think it's locked. I wanted to get a snack before lunch time. <laughs> you know what? Um, sit. Just go. Sit down. Let me make a quick phone call, huh? Are you still counting? Are you counting a warehouse? No, ma. Check who is calling me. If it's my sister, call the call. No, it's not your sister, ma. Can't you read? Give me a job. This is sorry, ma. Hello? Hey, Buka, I'm, I'm busy. Can you call me back? Did you lock the kitchen door? Yes. You locked a door? In my house, Messi. Ah, stop that. Which house? How's it? I'm paying rent. Instead of you barking like a dog that has rabies, why didn't you ask me why? Why? Uh huh. So, as the current breadwinner, I have decided that we'll be doing one zero one. If you eat breakfast, you will not eat till night. Because you and Chiba Mother, you are, you are consuming much. I cannot be paying bills, I'll be feeding cows. Feeding cows. Tell me, Mercy, what other decision did you make? Nothing, no. Except for the generator. Because the price of diesel has gone up. So I've locked it up. Everything now is manage, manage, manage. Hello? Hello? Ah. Look at this man, oh. he's cutting call on me. Hmm. Hmm. Why are you still here? Go and get me the inventory book. Okay, ma. You did me wrong well, I fixed it. CV. <laughs> so if anybody told me this kind of thing will happen, I'll, I'll never believe it. This laptop self batch is dead. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! oh which kind of problem is this one? Ah. It was that. Hello, neighbor. Good evening, Auntie Temi Dayo. Mm, you remember my name. That's nice. Are you all right? Yes. Are you sure? Is there anyone in there? Because it seems dark there. My daddy is upstairs doing some work. And my Auntie Mercy locked the gen. Mm. I don't like the dark. I see. Come on. Why did this auntie keep her dirty here?
Yeah. I'm not supposed to collect things from stranger. Come on, Chimamanda. I'm not a stranger. You know my name. You know where I live. Besides, you can show it to your daddy. Wow. Thank you. So this book can bring light. Nonsense. Where's this girl? Chimamanda. Amanda. That's what I got. Where'd you get that from? Our new neighbor, Auntie Temi, that you gave us. Amanda, since when did you start collecting things from strangers? I didn't want to. But she said I should show it to you. I hope you thanked her at least. Mm hmm. Dad, let's eat. I'm very hungry. Go ahead. Let's share. I'm very hungry. I'm so hungry. Mm. See? Let me go finish up my work, huh? Amanda, if you don't come out now, you will check the school today. Oh. Where is she? Yeah, she um, is trying to put together her assignment folder. Anyway, um, I really wanted to talk to you about something. Um, so I have decided to dust up my CV and uh, go and start having meetings with the companies that I used to work with before. I see. Finally, I've decided to get a job. Obviously, you will be needing a car since, you know, and uh, you don't like anybody using the white one. So I was just thinking. Maybe... Long story short, you need money for transport. I will send one of the girls to send you money when I get to the store. Thank you. I got it. Bye, Dad. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, baby.
Why are you asking me a jump question? Get down. Let's go home. I have something to do. I miss by yourself. Do I look like your maid? Is it enough I come to school to pick you up? Go to Osho, do you see your maid checking and jumping bus? When I was your age, I was making money. Ah, you are still a child. You haven't even started working. Yeah, get down. Your phone is ringing now. Yes, I can get your back, let's go. Well, I'm not arranging these things now. Be there sharpening your mouth. It's like you want to enter a bus to the house, Abby. I hope I'm still going to get paid. All the food you have been and the roof over your head is coming from where? <laughs> if you can get your back and let's go. Is that not my daddy? Daddy, where? Yeah, it's in Bullet. You are here. Sitting down at the junction. You are eating bole. You are eating man. No, 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 no. Like a rat barrel. Eh? Okay now. No problem. Where are you going? You will meet me in the house. I'm coming back home tonight. Tonight. I'm coming back to you. Why don't you ask grandma for money? So you won't be poor again. Well, gr grandma is mom. <sighs> grandma was mommy's mom. Okay, and she wasn't particularly happy when I decided to get married to Mercy. Anytime I ask grandma for money, she always give me the shiny new money. <laughs> well, sweetheart, I'm, I'm pretty sure that however much she gives you is not going to be anywhere close to enough for us. Besides, I'm concerned that if I start to ask her for money, she may decide that she wants you to come and stay with her or something. No! Exactly. Remember how miserable you were when you had to go and live in Benin after mom died? Our house smells like old people. <laughs> so, we are at the messy of anti-messy. <laughs> well... I... Come on, get ready for bed. <laughs> We are at the mercy of Auntie Messi. 
What what are you doing? I don't understand. You you just you just got off. You you know I have I haven't. Who told you the intercourse was for your pleasure? <laughs> it's the audacity of jobless broke people having mouth to ask for sex. <laughs> Mercy, you know sometimes I don't understand you. Okay, one minute you're talking normal, and then the next minute you're just you're just being so insulting. Stating fact is not insult. Anyway, I was going to ask you to come work for me. I'm sorry, work, work for you? Are, you? are you being serious? As what? As my driver. <laughs> Since I fired my driver, I've not seen anyone I like. You're joking, right? Me. Come and work for you as a driver. Mercy. What is wrong with being a driver? Some graduates are driver. The job hunt you have been going for has it gotten you any work. Okay, so because you have a roof over your head, so you you have mouth to ask for sex, Abby. It's all right. Messi, you know, no honestly, I, I, I don't know what has come over you. I mean, the mercy I used to know was kind, thoughtful, considerate of people's feelings. Now you just you just harsh and just mean. Maybe the mercy you used to know is dead and buried. Have you been stealing from me? No. What is no? Ah, this is the second time I'm seeing nylon or junk under my sofa. Eh? Has to give me. Who is that? Our oh, new name was just packed in. So you are going from house to house begging? No! No begging, no. She's the one that has to give me. How many times has this neighbor given you anything? What? Four. Four times. So you have been collecting? <laughs> you don't think I gave you wish to eat and you now bring it to my house? But she doesn't look like those winches in Jack and Jill now. See, your day. You don't know this is Nigeria. The witchcraft here is different. This is reality. We don't like witch, witch, witch on your forehead. Eh? I know what to do. It's not a winch now. Listen, I'm busy, I'm busy. No, I have to go now. <clears throat> what are you doing sitting at the back? Is there any problem with where I'm sitting? Mercy, you shouldn't be sitting at the back while I'm driving this car. Says who? Are you not my driver? Am I not going to pay your salary? Every time, but don't shout, you won't receive sense. Ha! You called? Yes. Um, I need you to help out here. You can't just sit in the car all day. No, I'm a driver. That's what drivers do. Now is not the time to be sarcastic. I sacked one of my girls, so I need somebody at the front. You're joking, right? Do I look like a joker? Okay, first, me, driver. And I'll just say me again, sales boy. What exactly is your plan here, Mercy? I have worked my ass off 
tired and fucked out, putting food on our table. And I asked for this, this small helper here, speaking grammar. Who's going to show me how to use the checkout thingy? Mm, Simbi will show you. In Lagos. I was trying to tell you on the phone, but you didn't let me speak. Outside now. Hi, Buka. I see your husband working the checkout. What was going on? It's none of your business. What are you doing in Lagos? Work brought me. And I thought to check up on you. Since you have been avoiding my calls. Mm. Work. Okay, as you can see, I'm fine. So, bye. Go back to your Abuja. You didn't go see the therapist I recommended. Because I am fine. You're not fine. And that is why you have been avoiding my calls. And you didn't even invite me to your wedding. Because you know I'm the only one who can read you. What have you been doing to that man and his child? Don't give me that look. He's now working in your supermarket. That is all I needed. And you should mind your damn business. You are my sister. You are my business. And I'm worried about you. You have not been okay for years. And marrying the cause of your pains is all shades of wrong. I love you. A love wrapped in hate for so long is not love. You were engaged to this man for years. And he left you to marry some girl he just met. Do you know how long it took you to leave your apartment? You even left your job for goodness sake. And what did you do at your first chance of meeting him? Hearing that his wife is dead, you married him. Seeing his child alone reminds you of your pain. I missed my sister. The one who is so kind to everyone. The one who smiles at everyone. The one who never hurts a fly. Not this one. Hiding under so much pain. And carrying weight. I'm fine. I am fine. No, you are not. You are not fine, sis. Must be the girl the landlord said moved into the boys' quarters. Um, Chima Mada said you have been giving her things. And you must be the Auntie Mercy. Hmm? Yeah. Next time you seek a parent's permission before you give a child anything, instead of going behind us giving the child things. <laughs> <sighs> What's funny? It's funny that. You keep a child hungry and expect me to come seek your permission to give her something to eat. The same you that asked an eight-year-old to wash your car. Huh? Watch your tone. And she's nine, not eight. Potato, potato. Look, I've read about women like you on the blogs. Wicked women who maltreat children kept in their care. I even heard that you lock the kitchen and you lock the generator. Please remind me, what is witchcraft again? Try me again. I can go all night. Because I literally eat bullets like you for breakfast. Like I'll eat you.
That's the third beef. Huh? Due to your current joblessness and the price of meat in the market now, you can't be eating the uh, third meat on the city now. So, as the current breadwinner, I have decided that we'll be doing one zero one. If you eat breakfast, you will not eat till night. Because you and Chiba Mada, you are, you are consuming much. I cannot be paying bills, I'm feeding cows. Feeding cows? All the food you have been eating and the roof over your head is coming from where? <laughs> if you go and get your bag and let's go. Anybody tell you, hey, small girl, you run. Don't you dare catch me. And then I'll see you in heaven. Ah! Yes, thank you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, I'll be in touch, eh? Yes. Ah, I've been cleared of all charges. Yes, I am innocent like I always told you I was. That's great news. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Can we sit? Sure. What's up? All I've always wanted was to be your wife. And when that didn't happen years ago, I was broken. It felt like my world was crushing. I didn't know what to do or who to become. You broke me, Ifuka. I thought I was tough, but I was not okay for a long time. This woman, this bitter, mean person is not who I am. I have tried, but it's as if there is a heavy weight on my chest that I can't get rid of. I have called my lawyer. Why? Do I greet that? And a good man. But you weren't just good to me when I needed it. I need to fix myself. So what does this mean for us? It means goodbye. <gasps> But I will always love you. Always. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I really am. 
I know. Thank you. Is everything okay? called Uncle Patrick at EMCC to help him. That's a good one. Let's go, sis. Let's go. to you. 